Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be doing a big cumulative thrift haul from the Goodwill bins. So everything that you're going to see today are things that I thrifted this week to resell on Poshmark. So generally when I go to the Goodwill bins, I always uh, average my cost of goods. So if I spent $20 and I bought 20 items, everything will be about a dollar. Um, most of the time it actually comes out to exactly a dollar, which is kind of crazy. I think at the most, um, sometimes it's like a dollar and 20 cents. Uh, the least I've ever had is 80 cents, but everything in this haul, I think came out to a dollar and 12 cents each. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I have a lot of things to show you. I think there's probably around 60 things here, um, which is crazy. I didn't even think I could thrift 60 things in like one week, but um, I did indeed. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I think I'm going to pick this bag first. I have like four or five bags. Um, actually, let's start with shoes. So I have, I have two pairs of shoes to show you. The first one is this pair of Toms. They are, let's see, they're, they are, I think they're size eight. No, I lied, these are a size nine. They're these kind of gamer Toms. They're in relatively good condition. The canvas is in great condition. The soles have some minor wear and dirt to them. Oh, obviously they have a Goodwill sticker on them that I need to get off. Um, but when I did look these up, it looks like people were selling them anywhere from like 25 to 35. Um, a couple had even sold for $40, uh, which is kind of confusing to me, but that's okay. So we're gonna get these listed. And then the other pair of shoes that I have are these Lucky Brand ballet flats. And these are honestly in excellent condition as well. There's really hardly any wear to these at all. And these are a size, where is it on here? It's on here. Uh, it's an eight and a half. So these are in great condition as well. I'm hoping to get it about 25 for these. So my next piece here, see, this is maybe hard to show you. Uh, this is from Sundance. It is a size small. It's just this like button down blouse, but it has this really nice sort of like pleating on it. Um, I thought this was just so cute and very like boho. I think I'll use keywords like boho, um, peasant, um, where all the other ones are on, you know, those sort of keywords, but this one's definitely gonna need a steam, but it's very cute. After I show them. Also, we have Mr. Bean here today. This is my little dog, Bean. He's gonna sit with us today. He just sleeps. He just sleeps in his little bed. Okay, so the next thing um, are these kids athletic shorts. Uh, these honestly look um, brand new. I will, you know, obviously list them as pre-owned, um, but I would say that they are very much like new. Even the tie, if you look at the stock photos, the tie is still like exactly the same. Um, but just these kids shorts. I think that these are size, they're size XL 14. So I thought a girl, they're like a paper bag. I think I'm gonna put paper bag short in there. Next is something that I didn't really pick up for the brand as much as the style, um, but it is Spence. It is a large, and it is also another like, kind of like a peasant-y, like boho top. It's got these really nice, sort of like flowy sleeves. Very cute, I love the coloring on this too, like the teal colors, love that. All right, next is this, um, this is just a men's Patagonia shirt. I'm not really expecting to get too much for it, but just a, a nice basic button down from Patagonia. And this is a men's medium. Um, this one, next up. So this is a new with tags. Um, I'm also really not expecting to get too much from this, but it is Gap new with tags. The original price is not on here. It used to be on the end, but it was taken off. But it's just this corduroy, it's like, um, like a plum color, plum corduroy skirt very cute i would say this is very kind of like on trend right now um it is an xl it's a great size 
then the back is just plain. Okay, uh, next is these uh, men's kind of Harry Potter pajamas. Also really not expecting to get too much for these, but it's got all the different house emblems on them. Uh, and these are also in like excellent condition. There's very, uh, there's like no pilling, very minor wear on these at all. And these are a size small. But those are great. And it's the same on the back as well. This one, this one I think, I don't remember the brand. I remember I looked it up, uh, whatever the brand was, but the brand tag had been cut out, but I was able to find the brand. Um, I remember I found who it was through the RN number, uh, but it is 100% linen, um, just a 100% linen, like yellow striped blouse. And this one, I'm honestly hoping for just 20 bucks for this one, uh, especially because it's linen. Um, I love to pick up linen pieces just because they are, number one, lightweight, but a lot of people seem to be searching for linen around the springtime, so that's great. Uh, this one was also another style-based pickup. Uh, this is a lemongrass, like a vintage lemongrass button-down. I believe it's a woman's button-down, but it's got this really cool kind of I don't really know how to explain it. I wouldn't, I don't know if it's like Aztec or tribal, not really tribal, but it's um, just very unique, honestly. And it's got this like texture on it, button cuff, there's the back. And this one is, it's a size large as well. So that's fun. I'm hoping that one will sell for around 30. Is this MG uh, blouse? And, you know, honestly, I don't have the best luck with MG, but this was more, I think, of a style-based pickup. But it's got this embroidery, the, like, cold shoulder blouse. It's a blue. I think it's got a lot going for it. And it's got a keyhole back as well. Like that. There's the back. Yeah, so that is the first bag. Let's move on to the next bag. All right, so the next one is here. So the first item that I have here is something that I am extremely confused about. I tried to do a little bit of research on it. Didn't really come up with much luck, um, but we'll see. So here, let me show you the top first, and then I'll show you all the tags that are attached to it. So here's the top. Definitely needs a steam, and I think I saw a little bit of dirt on it somewhere is it under here. Yeah, there was a little bit of dirt like under the collar right here, but here it is. Okay, and it's got these sleeves, this little like uh, buckle sleeve tie thing. It's got these weird like pouch pockets as well. They're like pouches that go all the way around, to be honest. Um, I would not have picked this up if it weren't for what I'm about to show you. So it's got quite a few different tags on it. Let's see. Uh, the first tag is just the brand tag. So the brand is Donna Karen uh, New York. And it's got a style and everything on it. Really can't see that Donna Karen. Um, but then the next tag is a tag from Neiman Marcus. And if you look, I might have to put in a picture of this one. If you look down at the bottom, that says $1,300, but then it was reduced to 780, reduced again to 325. And quite frankly, I have no idea what's going on with this top. So, <laughs> and then it's also got like, a, like another clearance tag on it as well. So honestly, I picked it up just really to do some more research on it because I just don't really understand why a top like this would cost $1,300. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> so I just thought it was funny um, and we will see. So I saw in one of the bins that they were rolling out that there was a bag, it was a Johnny Was, like, um, like a retail bag. Like if you had bought something from the store, there was one of those bags. So in my mind, I'm thinking, there's got to be a Johnny Was piece in here somewhere. Like, and you know, that doesn't really make too much sense because obviously there could be a bag, but not a piece. But in my head, I was like, there's a Johnny Was piece in here somewhere. And then I kind of, kind of found it. I didn't realize I had found it. I picked it up and only when I was researching it, 
uh, got up going through my cart later, I realized that I kind of had a Johnny Was piece. Uh, but the brand is, it's called Bia, which looked like it was kind of like an off, not an off brand, a a brand that Johnny Was carries. I'm not sure what the actual word is, but it is technically Johnny Was. Um, but here it is. Now I will say it had a tiny little, a tiny, tiny little stain on it that I put some stain treatment on. So if you see a splotch on it, that's probably my stain treatment. Um, but it's this really like beautiful embroidered, it's kind of like an ivory color. And it's got little tie sleeves, but I thought this was so cute and I was so excited to find this. But there it is. So hopefully that will um, go for some good money. I don't uh, next one is a Floriate top. I believe Floriate is anthropology, sold at anthropology. Uh, but it's just this lace. It's like a lace top. It's got like button down. Here's the back. Super cute on that one. Uh, this next one is actually a child's uh, item. I don't pick up children's clothes very often, uh, but I saw this and thought it was super cute. Um, it's a just a pair of overalls, like these kids' overalls. I believe they are vintage as well. That's why I picked them up. Yeah, I'll have to, it's like in, I think it's vintage, in design kids. The tag looks vintage, whether it actually is vintage, um, could be, could not, but we will have to see. But it's this really cute red overalls. It's got this, what does it say? Railroad on it with a train. Super cute. So we'll see about those. I'm honestly not expecting very much from these at all. Um, but even if it was 10 bucks, I thought it was so cute. Had to pick it up. All right, so we have a couple larger sweaters. Uh, this first one's just from World Market. Um, I love World, Mar World Market sweaters. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, I'm gonna take this to sell. Uh, but first is this one. It's just a large, it's like a, like a poncho. And it's got this like big turtleneck on it that you roll up. And I don't know, most of, at least the ones that I've seen, here's the tag, or just World Market. Uh, most of the ones that I've seen um, are kind of like a one size. I believe this is the same thing. But it's so nice, and there's a little bit of wash wear on this, but overall it's really in excellent condition. The fringe is in great condition. Um, there was a tag in here somewhere, but world market. Uh, next one is another UMG piece, which I probably shouldn't be picking up. I don't know why I keep picking up UMG, but none. I've only sold a couple UMG pieces and I have quite a few left in my stock. But this one was honestly really cute. It's like a an ivory or like a cream colored like knit cardigan. It's like an open front cardigan. Here we go. It's got this one little thing sticking out here. I'll have to tuck that in. But it's very cute. Here's the back. I think I think they call it like popcorn, if I'm not mistaken, like a popcorn knit. Um, but it's very cute. Um, yeah. So this one, uh, honestly, when I looked at this one, I thought it was like a very, very old piece of lace, uh, but it's not. <laughs> so it is a new with tags. It's called Heart's Desire. Uh, the tag on it, it's the Lace Sophia Top, uh, retailed for $156. Here it is. It's got long sleeves and like a little like a uh, flounce at the end. I'm not really sure. And it's kind of pleated as well. It's got these little pleats on the front. Let's see if you can see them. It's kind of like, not pleated. It's like, um, I'm not sure what that is, where it's like cinched almost. But, and when I was doing a lot of research, it looks like a lot of their uh, pieces are, they call them like tea stained, uh, which makes sense for this color. I think that's kind of why I thought it was an older piece. Because it's like this, like, it's like ivory, but Part of it is like darker, so it's definitely like a tea stained piece. Very cute. Um, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> uh, so the next thing, this is something that I also picked up for style rather than the brand. Honestly, this brand is Loft. Um, not a brand that I would normally pick up, but I just thought this was too cute to not pick up. It's like this, they almost look like little seashells. Isn't that so cute? And it's got these little like bubble sleeves that come in. 
Uh, this one is also, I mean, all of these pieces are really in excellent condition. Uh, this one's also a size extra large. Super cute. Oops. All right, next is a, this one's I'm not expecting too much for. It's just a Carhartt um, button down. And I, I mean, I know a lot of people really love Carhartt, but I specifically picked this one up because it's not just like an average button down shirt. It's like a really thick, um, like heavyweight cotton. It is 100% cotton, but it's, it's an extra large. Um, there it is. I don't know if my camera is focusing. Hopefully it is, but just a really kind of heavy cotton, which I think is nice. And this is also in excellent condition. Honestly, it looks like this thing was never worn. Funny, you know, it's actually my birthday today. <laughs> and I went to the bins this morning. Isn't that crazy? I know. Does that show you how much I love the bins? I literally went to the bins on my birthday. But I love it so much. It's so much fun. Okay, so next up is this uh, Intimately Free People size small. Also, I'm also not really expecting very much on this one. Um, if I get, you know, 15 bucks for it, I'll be happy. Uh, but it is a kind of like a lace, I don't know if it's pajamas, you know, the intimately free. Sometimes it's like, like under, underwear, not underwear, like layered stuff. I'm not really sure. Uh, but this could totally be a top, but it's this very cute kind of lacy purple top. I don't think it's a tunic. It could be a tunic. It's slightly longer. Very cute on that one. Uh, this is also something that I did not pick up for the brand. I just thought it was a nice style. Uh, it's from Green Tea. It is a large, Green Tea, large. Um, this one's also a tunic, but it's like a burnout waffle knit. I don't think I've ever seen a burnout waffle knit. Um, but just a very lightweight top. Also really not expecting very much for this one. Um, but I just thought it was uh, something that's very light, easy to pick up, easy to list. I'm um, very happy with that. So this next top is actually a, what I say, it's called a new to me brand. I've never heard of it before, but it is Habitat. There is the label, Habitat. It is a size small, and it's just this long sleeve with an asymmetrical hem. And I believe, if I remember correctly, I think this one sold for like originally $60. And I saw quite a few people had sold them on Poshmark for around $30. Um, so I was happy to pick this one up. It's also pretty light as well. Um, it does have a little bit of wash wear on it. So maybe I'll put it on for like $25 and see how we do. Um, but overall, I think this was a good pickup. All right. So the next thing is a brand that I actually don't normally pick up. It's Charming Charlie. Um, here we are. There is the little tag. Is it going to focus? It might be too bright. Charming Charlie. Um, I probably wouldn't have picked this up if it wasn't new with tags. Um, it did retail for $29 and it's also extremely light. It's like a cardigan, like a sheer cardigan. Open front. There we go. And the back it's like just a very nice sheer lightweight item. If this was like a really heavy material or it wasn't new with tags, I probably would not have picked it up. And it's also a paisley print. A lot of people like really love that paisley print. Um, here is something, this was like a last minute pickup. I found this like literally on my way out the door. <laughs> um, so it is Liberty Art Fabrics for J. Crew. This little cute um, floral skirt. It's got a zipper at the back. If I remember correctly, I believe this one retailed for about over a hundred dollars, uh, which is kind of crazy, but the super cute skirt. So, and it looks, honestly, this is another one that looks, uh, I don't want to say brand new, but I mean, it looks brand new. <laughs> it really does. doesn't look like this was ever worn. Um, but yeah, we'll put it on obviously as pre-owned um, and see how it does. So the last thing in this, in the second bag here is this. It is also a Karen Scott. This one, honestly, I kind of picked this one up for style. It's got these really cute shoulder buttons on it. Um, these like large sleeves, it's long line. Um, 
and it's like a nice heavy cotton this is another one that looks like this was like hardly ever worn i would say there's like little little to no signs of wear on this at all it's not fuzzy it's not pilled at all it is a size extra large so that's great we're halfway done <laughs> okay so this next one um so everything in here I don't think everything in here definitely has not been steamed so you're gonna have to like we're gonna have to like use our imagination on some of these or I'll put pictures up if they're too wrinkly uh, this was one pair of Lululemon shorts that I found just a basic pair of Lululemon shorts honestly I have no idea what these would sell for I looked at the size dot they looked like a very small pair of shorts I think it said they were a size two uh, but honestly, I was considering that maybe these are kids shorts. I mean, these are very little shorts. But Lululemon, just a basic pair of black running shorts. Uh, this next one here is, I don't remember the brand on this one either. I know, see this one was missing its brand tag as well, but I remember looking it up. I'll have to put in a picture of what it looked like. But it is this black lace dress. And it's got lace sleeves and what it does have it has like this mini skirt underneath and then at the bottom it's just lace so this next one here is actually just a boutique dress um, but i really liked the style of it and some of the buttons are open so we're gonna have to like use our imagination here <laughs> um, but it is this red it's got these pom-poms it's got frills it's got like a button front and then it's tiered, it's like a tiered pom-pom. And I remember there was a really cute stock photo that I will put up of this one. Um, but uh, even if it doesn't sell for very much, um, I thought it was super cute. And it is a size large. The brand on it is JC Lane Boutique. I mean, just a boutique brand, um, but size large. I think it has definitely a lot going for it. I'm very happy with that one. Okay, so this next item I actually had hanging up behind me, um, but I remember that this is kind of the stuff that I bought it with. Oh my goodness. <laughs> first of all, so I'll show you the shirt first. Here it is. Um, cute, cute. So it's from the brand Alice and Olivia. It's a size small, and it was purchased from the Netta Porter site. So uh, honestly, when I saw this, I kind of thought it was a kid's shirt. Um, and then I kind of looked at it and I was like, whoa, Netta Porter, let me grab that and like do some research about it. I'm so glad I did. This retailed for $295 um, and I found it and I found it brand new with tags at the bins, $4. <laughs> so this exact top was actually featured in a movie. I'm drawing a blank on the name of the movie, but it had Anna Kendrick in it. So I'll like post some little like pictures of it. Uh, she looks super cute in it, but um, apparently it's a pretty sought after top. So we will see, I'm gonna go hang this one back up. It still has the like, um, like you must have this tag to return it uh, sort of tag from Netta Porter. So I mean, this thing is brand new. It's like beautiful. Okay, so this next one, um, I don't believe this was a really fancy brand either. Um, it's J. Crew Mercantile, it's a size medium. It's like the chambray um, floral mini dress. It is very cute. It's got an elastic waist on it. Elastic waist, it's got this kind of like ruffle crossover dress thing. I'm hoping I can get at least 20 for this, um, if not closer to 30. And the back is just the same print. Um, okay, so this next one, I was actually really excited to find this one. And I think people were passing it up because they thought it was like, a very old piece um, but it's actually not uh, it is the brand the sparrow which I believe is it for anthropology I want to say sparrow is anthropology it's a size small it is this uh, skirt <laughs> it's like a like a nice stretchy skirt it's got quite a unique fabric makeup I will read it to you uh, it's got nylon, cotton, acrylic, mohair, viscose, and cashmere, 2% cashmere. Um, but this one I probably don't think is going to go for very much, uh, despite having such a high retail price. 
Um, it is does have quite a bit more wear than I would like. Um, it's just it's just fuzzy, you know, which is kind of what you expect with like things that are wool and cashmere and all these different blends. Um, but it's definitely I think it will look really nice on camera, um, but in person it is pretty fuzzy. Um, I don't know if I, it's really coming across at all, but yeah, probably is quite a bit lower than like. Um, what I would typically like to get, but I think I'll just say it's, it's, you know, good condition. You know, it's, um, there's really nothing wrong with it. It's just pretty fuzzy. Uh, this next one, honestly, I just picked this up because it was so freaking cute. It is this, uh, purple little blouse and it's got lots of different, uh, materials. It's got like, um, like a velvet material. It's got like a lace. It's got like, uh, like silvery uh like metallic threads uh the brand on it is vanity and it is a size large but it's this super cute i don't think it's pajamas it's just a little blouse how cute is that uh next up this one's also kind of like a like it's not gonna get me that much but it's a nice brand so the brand is cloth and stone Cloth and Stone, which is sold at Anthropology. It's a size large, and it is this off-the-shoulder, um, what am I drawing a blank? Off-the-shoulder plaid, there it is. Off-the-shoulder plaid blouse. It's got long sleeves, it's got this like gathered cuff, um, and it's also got this like elastic um, at the bottom. Super cute, I think it's just a pretty solid like bread and butter type piece, I would say. The next one, if I can get it out, uh, is actually another children's item. Um, I really don't pick up that many kids items at all, but uh, this one was new with tags. It is just this kid's um, little like mauve, is it mauve? What is this? I think it's, no, it's not mauve. Um, like a plum color, plum color dress. It's got velvet. It's got these like kind of velvet polka dots on them. And it is new with tags from Gymboree. It is a size seven and retailed for 50 bucks. Uh, next up is something that for me, I would say is kind of like my bread and butter. Um, that is J Jill. I buy, I kind of buy a lot of J Jill pieces if they're in good condition. And I do sell a lot of J Jill pieces. So this is no exception, just a basic kind of blousey button down. I will say that the color is a little strange. It might sit a li little longer because of the color, um, but it is a size medium. Button down, cute. Uh, this is another one. This is another piece that I picked up pretty much primarily for style. Um, is there a brand on here? You know, I always say I try my best not to buy pieces that are like no branded, um, but I seem to have three of them already, but that's crazy. Uh, but this is a, just a dress. It's got stripes on it. Not all the buttons here are buttons, so it may look like it's open, uh, but it's got pockets. It's got a super cute kind of tie at the back, um, but it's just this big, long dress. How cute, right? This is something, this one's more of like an experimental piece. Uh, this is Chico's. It is a Chico's design size one so i believe it's an xl it could be a large but it is just this embroidered jean jacket bam how cute is that i think it's very original very cute very original and then the next thing this one was also something that's pretty heavy probably brought up my cost of goods a little bit um, but this is from Gap. It is a size, size extra small. So I don't generally like picking up extra small pieces unless it's like a pretty substantial piece, um, which I think this one is. So it is this kind of green um, utility kind of cargo dress. Oops, it's got a fuzz on the front. See, some of these things just have random fuzzes on them, but, oh, I thought I saw a hole. Oh my gosh, it did not. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Okay. We're almost done with this one. Uh, next one. 
my favorite brand is Soft Surroundings. It is a size, see, it's a petite small. I don't normally like picking up petite sizes either because uh, they just seem to sit for a long time, but this was a pretty cute piece. Um, I don't even know what I would call this. It's not really a cow print. It's not a cow print. I have no idea what this print is called, um, but it's got these cute little, it's like an elastic kind of smocked top and then it flows down and it's got a slit in the hem kind of like a leg slit. Super cute, petite small. Okay, and then the next thing on this one, this was also kind of like a, um, it's new with tags, we will see kind of pick up. Um, the brand is Carlisle. Some of the things from this brand were pretty, selling for quite a bit of money. I like this lime green uh, top and it's got this really cute, like beaded, shoulder detail uh new with tags it's got like extra um straps and like extra beads and extra like string um but there's no there's no like original price on here but i kind of looked at like the other things from this brand that were selling so i feel like this we'll see about this piece this is definitely like a, a questionable buy which is okay you know that's how i learn <laughs> We are on the last bag. Uh, this bag is actually things that I bought this morning. So um, yeah, you'll get to see what I bought literally this morning. Um, the very first thing, really not expecting to make too much from this, but is a kids um, champion, kind of like a puffer. We are kind of passing the puffer uh, season, but I think it's okay. I really don't mind picking up things out of season. Uh, but it's got this really cute teal color and it's almost like iridescent on the outside. How cute is that? And this is also in excellent condition. Uh, next is, this was just like a little extra pickup, a Seattle Washington hat. Just a cute like women's hat. Um, looks like this was hardly anyone worn. Next piece, this is, I actually found two pieces that are 100% cashmere, uh, which I was really kind of excited about. Um, so this one, it's got a dry cleaning tag on top of the thing, but it is called Privé. It is a medium 100% cashmere and with cashmere, you have to look it over so insanely closely because <laughs> Cashmere is super prone to holes, but it is this little turtleneck sweater and you will have to forgive, you will not believe me. I literally dropped the two cashmere pieces that I had. I dropped both of them on the floor when I was walking into my house. So there's like tiny little pieces of leaves on them. So if you see something like that, um, just ignore it. <laughs> but this 100% cashmere sweater, this one's also, um, it's got quite a bit of uh, like fluff on it. Um, it is kind of, see that there's a little piece of leaf right there. Um, it is a little fuzzier than I would like, but still really great condition and uh, absolutely nothing wrong with it. No holes, no stains. It's still like nice in like a bright pink color. Uh, this next one is also a really nice piece. This one had a little bit more uh, pieces of leaves on it. I'm so mad at myself. I cannot believe I did that. Uh, this one, I might actually end up hand washing. So it is from, it is from White House Black Market, 100% um, cashmere, size medium. And this one is almost like a dress, kind of like a mini kind of tunic dress. Once again, there are little pieces of leaves all over it. I cannot believe I did that. I'm gonna have to like spend an hour taking all these little pieces off, but whatever. Um, it is also a turtleneck or like a, Mock neck, not a mock neck, turtleneck, I think so. Um, there we go. It's got all these little like uh, hole designs on it. Super cute. And this one actually has a little belt that goes with it. We will see. Two pieces, 100% cashmere. Uh, very excited about those. I've never sold anything or found anything that was cashmere that was in uh, like good enough condition to take home. So we will see. Uh, going from 100% cashmere to Shein, uh, this is a sweater. It's from Shein, uh, but I just thought it was so cute. Look at it. It's got like all this print on it and it's got this like manufactured wear at the bottom. It's got it and it's got it on the sleeves as well. 
super cute obviously not expecting very much for that um people were selling it on poshmark for about twenty dollars um i don't really know why if people can buy it new for that amount but i think it's more of the um the quick shipping i think people are willing to pay a little extra to get it quickly <laughs> i'm not really sure uh but we will see uh this next one this is just from top shop it is a us size six just a very basic denim skirt Honestly, if I can get 15 bucks for this, I will be happy. I might not even get 15 bucks for it. It might be like 10 or 12, but we'll see. Uh, next is Torrid Denim. It is a size 14 crop high waist wide leg vintage stretch jeans. I've sold quite a few Torrid jeans before, um, and these ones are really in excellent condition. Just a basic pair of Torrid jeans. And they're pretty stretchy as well, which is nice. Um, now we have some fun, like, vintage pieces. So this first one is a patchwork. It's kind of like a sheer... Let me see if I can... Let me put the buttons on, because that's so much easier to see when the buttons are on it. It is this super cute patchwork vest. How adorable is this? It's got this, like, little elastic on the waistband. I see a couple strings hanging down that I might have to snip, um, but it is just so cute. It's also like sheer as well. I can see through it. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell on the camera, but you can see through it. No, you can't tell on the camera. It is kind of sheer, uh, but it is literally so freaking cute. How cute is that? There's the back. So cute. Uh, the brand is called Sacred Threads. I believe it's vintage. Um, I'm gonna have to definitely do some research to find out if it actually is vintage. Uh, but there is the tag, Sacred Threads. It is a size small, medium, 100% rayon uh, with 100% poly lining. Cute. Love that one. So this next one is another kind of favorite of mine. I don't, is there a brand in here? I saw quite a few people passing this up. I think people thought it was like a pillowcase or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, but I saw it and I was like, this is so cute. Okay, so this brand, I have no idea what this brand is. I need to like do some like serious, look at that brand tag. Look at that. There's words on there. There is a letter, there is letters on there. C-A, oh, gosh, C-A-L-M-E, call me. Who knows? <laughs> uh, but it is this long, another patchwork skirt. How cute is this? There's the end. This long skirt, the back is the same. But it is so freaking cute. And it's like different textures as well. It's got like, um, like this is like, feels like, like cotton. This is like corduroy, this is corduroy, like all different textures. It's got a zip down the side, super cute. Okay, so I, in the bins, I came across like a bunch, a bunch of like super vintage pieces. Some of them were things that I'm not really interested in, uh, but there were two pieces that I was extremely interested in. Uh, the first being this, kind of looks crazy. Tell me this is not straight out of the 80s. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's got elastic waistband. It's got this like pleated frills. It's got everything. Uh, the brand is called, the brand tag is a little bit, um, the brand is called Mosaic. It's an extra small. Um, it's got a made in USA tag, but how crazy is this? It's got shoulder pads. And if you thought that was cool, wait for the next one. You're not gonna believe it. I kind of like gasped when I saw it. I was like, what in the world? So this, the brand is called Assorti. It's a size small. Here's the brand tag, Assorti. It's got it made in the USA. Look at this, you're, I, you're being mind blown. <laughs> right? <laughs> so it's got shoulder pads, it's got puffy sleeves it's got an elastic waist it is long as can be look at that how just 
my crazy disco vibes, right? So when I looked up this brand on Poshmark, these, not, I couldn't find this exact dress, but dresses very similar to this, um, were selling for like 80 to a hundred dollars. Like, is that, that's kind of crazy. So we are, uh, definitely going to experiment with a piece like this. This is just, just craziness, this one, but it's so cute. I love it. It's like my favorite find. <laughs> Next, this is a junior dress. I had saw a couple people had listed it for 35. One of them had sold for 30. Um, so it is just this black lace sleeveless dress, similar to the one I showed uh, right at the beginning, but it's a little bit different. The brand is Trixie. It is a size large, so obviously a junior's large. Trixie. This is something a little bit off season, but I really don't care pick it up anyway um it is a longhorns texas longhorns which is the school i go to i go to youtube um but look at this how cute is this it's like a like a winter christmas sweater for ut it is in an xxl it's the campus specialties xxl um a really nice sweater uh there's very little wear to this at all Normally with some of these sweaters, if they're old, they get like really fuzzy, uh, but this one looks awesome condition. This piece is something that we're gonna have to definitely use our imagination on because of how wrinkled it is. <laughs> so the brand is Floriette. So it's a, oh gosh, it is Floriette. It says Floriette by Anthropology. You literally cannot see that at all. Floriette by Anthropology. Um, but it is this green floral kind of open front cardigan. There's the print at the back. It's got these like little slits in it, which are cute. This one, I also did not look up comps. Uh, it is Lucky Brand. I believe, I wanted to say it was pajamas. And then I saw this slit at the back and I was like, mm, that's probably not pajamas. It's probably just like a blouse. Um, Cause I spent a while looking for the bottoms that went with this top and I don't think it, I don't think it is pajamas, uh, but it's just this super cute kind of um, pinstripe, not pinstripe, pinstripe, I don't really know, a uh, colorful striped shirt. Here we go. Um, all right, we are almost there, guys. We are almost there. So this is, it's called HD in Paris. It is a size four faux leather skirt. It's kind of wrinkly, but... Um, it's in really good condition, especially for faux leather. Sometimes they like peel and look really like bad. Uh, but this one looks in really good condition. Just a little wrinkly. I'm honestly not sure if I can steam this fabric, but if I can, I will steam it to get some of these wrinkles out. Uh, but yeah, it's just this cute little skirt. Next is this Zara top. It's the Zara Truff. Trafaluk collection. It's a medium. Um, honestly, I have a top in the exact same fabric from the Zara, the Trafaluk collection, but it's like a, it's like a sleeveless, is it halter, halter, razorback kind of design. So this is, I guess it's like companion top, but it's a very cute top. So this is a, uh, I'm not actually sure if this is vintage or not. The brand is Adolfo Sport. It's not made in the USA. It's made in Taiwan. Um, it is nylon. I don't know. I do not know if this is vintage or not, but I will definitely do some research on it. Uh, but it is this like bomber jacket. And how cool is that print too? Isn't that awesome? I thought it was so cute. Uh, this one is a new with tags. It's from Entro. Uh, retailed is the Camilla high-waisted skirt, size large, retailed for $49.99. And it's got this smocked waist, kind of like a tiered, frilly material, burnt orange, super cute. Um, yeah, uh, that's such a cute skirt. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, this one was another style-based pickup. It's called Rabbit Rose. Um, 
also really not expecting that much for this one, uh, but because it is so lightweight, I did go ahead and pick it up. Uh, it's just a blouse, uh, tiered. It does have a little cami inside. Let's see if I can hold it up with it. There we go. Cami inside. Very cute. It's got like a double button keyhole back. Very nice. All right. And then the very last piece, I was so excited when I found this one. It is a, da -da -da, a Patagonia. It's the Patagonia <sighs> Cinchilla. Patagonia Cinchilla, size medium, fleece sweater. <laughs> uh look at this there was quite a few of these listed but also a lot of them that had sold it looked like a lot of the ones that were listed were listed for anywhere from like 80 to 100 and i think i think the highest one i saw was 150 dollars um but they were all small so i have a medium so i think i could do two things i could either list it for like 60 70 dollars just to get it out the door or i could list it for like 80 90 100 and because it is a size medium, hope it sells quickly, but possibly hold on to it for a little bit. Uh, but this, I was so excited to find this. Look how beautiful this is. Absolutely beautiful. Alrighty, so with that, that is the end of this video. Um, I really hope you guys like this video. Uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave me a comment if you like anything. You know, hopefully all of this stuff will be up on my Poshmark in like the next week or so. Uh, that's what I'm hoping. We'll see about that. Uh, but regardless, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye. My love language is your time and attention.